What's up, y'all? It's Brian Keith, and I'm back with another video. And today, we're going to be talking about Big Brother Season 25. I know that, as you know, Big Brother's coming around in a few more months. You know, we don't really know what's going to happen. I'm excited to see who's going to be a part of the show. I've been hearing a lot of rumors, a lot of, like, second chances, per se. But y'all, like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into the video. Yeah, let me check my, check my shit real quick. Hotter than the fire, come out, I'm a flame and lips. You wanna play with me? You can't play in me. On the playground, bitch, you can't play with me. Got it, want it, secure the bag. All right, y'all. So, basically, I want to let you guys know, like, this list that I'm about to come up with is strictly, it's not all-stars at all. That's like a whole nother genre, right? Because season 22, was it 22? Season 22? Mm -mm. It's not, it's not all-stars. We don't need that. Second chance, I feel like these are people that had a lot of potential or people that had like came close that uh, technically some of them could be all-stars, but you know, I want this list to be people that we only seen one time, nobody else. I want people to actually have a shot and to see actual new, new personalities and we can see where people have grown from and you know, if they got any nicer or better, likable, you know? So I'm going to start with 17 people that I feel like would be great for the Big Brother house. Um, and I'm going to have some honorable mentions. Um, so let's get into it. All right. So first person on this list, I have Nicole from Big Brother 24. What? Controversial. I know. The only thing about Nicole is the fact that I feel like she could have been a great player if she wasn't so pressed and obsessed about Taylor. Half the cast was, I mean, <laughs> but I feel like Nicole, Nicole could have been a great player. She was very strategic. She seemed like her, her eye was on the prize, but she was very emotional. And I would like to see her come around again to see like what kind of player she can be. I feel like she was definitely in my top like five, but her obsession with Taylor, I mean, who could blame her? Taylor's gorgeous, so. <laughs> her obsession with Taylor got her the boot. Next is very controversial, Paloma. Okay, so with the whole situation with Paloma, Paloma basically said that her mental state was the reason why she left, but she also bullied and antagonized and came up with this whole fantasy against Taylor. At the end of the day, this is a second chance, so maybe she can give us a second chance of her personality. It's gonna be t a little bit harder for her because one, she is very aware of, you know, her reputation so maybe this can change her reputation and we can see a little bit more of her we really don't know who she is as a player she was just there she one thing i could say was she has the power of manipulation and she has a, a factor that people follow behind her and she gathered so many people on her side against taylor so even though i did not like that bully and group think mentality she still has that aspect to rally her troops against one person so i mean she could be a formidable uh, player but who knows <laughs> next would be amira i thought amira would have been great in the show but amira was so overconfident and amira was very um she was very safe in her alliance and she i feel like amira would have rode her alliance all the way through all the way through she she didn't care and I feel like one thing about Amira that I really did like was she took a risk, she took ownership of what she did, but I feel like she was blindsided, obviously. <laughs> she was blindsided by the fact that she thought she was untouchable and the house showed her that girl. <laughs> Don't play with us, we got you, baby, <laughs> for real. So yeah, I feel like hopefully she come back into the house, she can feel a little bit more, you know, having a good time and really play this game and not feel so safe. Cause like they, like they say Big Brother, if you feel safe, you're probably on the chopping block, right? Now we're gonna go to season 23, um, Christian. I thought Christian was a good player. He was very physical, he was winning. I think he win like a couple of comps. So I feel like he could have been a good physical threat. And I feel like we need a lot of physical threats in this game because I mean, you want to see people win. <laughs> and I mean, he's good looking on the eyes, so, um. so I mean, that'd be cool. Next, Derek and um, Derek and Claire. I feel like having a couple in the house, one would bring a target on their back, but I feel like Derek is such a powerhouse. He won a lot of comps. He was very, um, he had a close alliance, but he wasn't in the cookout. So obviously he was on the chopping block, period. And I feel like with Claire on the same, Claire was so close with Tiffany. 
if the cookout alliance wasn't a thing, I feel like Tiffany would have took Claire to the end. But I do feel like Claire rode Tiffany's coattails. The reason why I want to bring Claire into the game is the fact that I feel like Claire can get some type of vengeance or can redeem herself because the next person on my list is Tiffany. I feel like Tiffany is the main person I want on. If it's going to be second chance, Tiffany is the person I want to be on second chance. I feel like she was a smart, formidable player. She came up with the cookout. She was such a mastermind and maybe I'm giving her too much, but no, I feel like I love the fact that she was open, honest, said how she said what she said, meant what she said, and I love that about her. And on top of that, Hannah Chada. One, the, Tiffany and Hannah were two of my favorite players from season 23, and I wish I would have reviewed it, but I didn't. But Hannah, I feel like Hannah is super smart, very intelligent, and she knows the game of Big Brother just like Tiffany, and I feel like they play the game very well. The only thing about Tiffany and Hannah is the fact that I feel like they will be targets. Um, it's two, two things. They will be targets earlier on by Nicole. Because <laughs> I feel like Nicole and Amira, I can see Nicole and Amira going up against Tiffany and Hannah. You know, because they it's the same archetype, right? But N Nicole, yeah. Next, we're going to go to, skip a season 22. We're going to go to season uh, 21. Um, Catherine Dunn. And mind you, there's a lot of women on this um, list, but I feel like women from the past couple of seasons have dominated. So that's why they're on my list, period. But Catherine Dunn, I watched Catherine Dunn's um, YouTube. I put her interviews in my videos and talked about it when I did my whole Big Brother reviews. So I feel like Catherine was amazing in the way she talks about the show. She seems like she has grown into a more insightful player and I feel like she'd be great. I would like to see how would her commentating from YouTube translate to her actually being in the game again for a second chance. Season 21, again, Nicole. Nicole came in third and I feel like Nicole was so underrated and she had the Taylor story, right? Everybody was car targeting her from the beginning. They ostracized her, Ovi, um, um, what's his name? I wanna say Devin, I don't think it's Devin, but um, they ostracized them earlier on, on in the game and literally she did not have no one in that, that game, to be honest. She was a survivor and I feel like she was a very strategic player and I liked Nicole in the game, period. My favorite during the season. Um, next, season 2019, I said Cody Nixon. Um, I feel like Cody would be, um, a great addition to the, um, to the show just because I feel like he has something to redeem. And he gives me more of, like, a Christian, um, archetype. I can see those two banding together. And I feel like that would be a good, good addition to the show as well. Um, okay, now this one's controversial. Controversial. So I said Jose from season 18. Just because I feel like Jose had so much to say. And I feel like Jose could have been really good in the game. He was a big personality. And I feel like if it wasn't for Davon busting his bubble, he could have made it pretty far. And looking at him now, I mean, he's sexy as hell. So, I mean, it's good to see somebody that's attractive on TV. <laughs> Next up, I would definitely have Victor on the show. I feel like... I think Victor is actually married to Nicole, who won. Well, I forgot what season she won, but very annoying. No, he's really, but like, very controversial. She always played the victim. That Nicole, I know, you know who I'm talking about, right? So, um, Victor is married to her. I feel like Victor was a great player on his season. It's just that he definitely didn't give me a winner, but I feel like from him learning from, <laughs> especially him married a winner, I feel like that would be a great storyline to just put in there. And I mean, he would be, um, Maybe a good addition. I don't really know. I just feel like um, from him marrying the winner and also he did pretty well on his season. I feel like that'd be a really good storyline. Next, I have from season 17, it will be um, Vanessa. Vanessa literally should have won that season, period. I feel like she was an overall player. Um, Davon knew that she was a threat and that's why they got out Davon because Davon and the twins knew that she knew about the whole situation. So I feel like Vanessa is a the perfect player to come on this second chance season. To be honest, she could all, she could go on All-Stars. Some of these people can be on All-Stars, don't get me wrong, but I'm just doing this for second chance for people that haven't been on the show. These are people that been, haven't been on the show just once. Did I come right? Yeah. 
That's Frankie Grande. To be honest, Frankie was so underrated. Frankie came in, he was very bubbly, he was infectious, he had a, such a big personality. And even when they tried to get Frankie out the house by, um, I forgot his name, but basically Frankie had to do um, a veto competition by himself using the strings and won. So that just goes to show that, you know, when it came down to the wire, Frankie did what he had to do and he can win comps and he has a social game. And I feel like Frankie's ultimate demise was the fact that he told people that he was Ariana Grande's brother. He should have kept that to himself because I feel like that turned a target on his back. And for me, I would have put a target on his back too because I'm just like, oh, so you already got money and you over here trying to fight for money. He said, you're going to give the money to charity. I want my 20%, bitch. Goodbye. No, ma'am. But I love Frankie. And also from season 16, Zach. So Zach Attack. So I think that would be um, a great little storyline as well, just because, you know, Zach and Frankie had their little romance. And we heard some little tea that they hooked up. I think they hooked up on the show and outside the show. And we know that Zach is bisexual now. So I mean, you know, he's coming to his own and he's a whole totally different person. And we can see a different side of who he is. And he can also play this game and he was entertaining. So, no. Nah. Last, I have is Devin for season 616 as well, just because I feel like Devin was this big macho man. I feel like he was also um, a physical threat, but he didn't win that many <laughs> comps though. But I feel like he can definitely have a second chance because to be honest, on paper, you would think he would do well in this game, right? So, some honorable mentions. I want to give some honorable mentions to... I know a lot of people were throwing around Big D. I saw online. It's like, oh, Big D would be good. Um, I feel like maybe Big D would be good, but I feel like Big D's social game wasn't that great. And I also feel like Big D's um, performance in the game wasn't that great either. And I saw people online talk about, oh, well, the reason why his performance was great was because of his size. Size doesn't matter. Like, there's mental games, there's physical games. And just because you're a bigger person doesn't mean that you can't do something physical. So I don't like that aspect where people are trying to say because he's um, of a bigger size that he is, he couldn't do nothing physical. I feel like that is a lot. We've seen throughout these competition shows that size doesn't matter. But I just feel like Big D was very complacent in the way he played during season 23 and he rode the coattails of the cook. There were times I feel like he tried to work against the cookout, like well, how he went, how him, um, not Oscar, not Oscar, but um, baby girl. But how they try to go against um, Tiffany when Tiffany was trying to question Brittany about the whole situation. And then how they were just basically standing up there just, yeah. Yeah, we're we going to be up in here and just like, you know the bigger picture, so why are we doing this? But um, who else is on our mentions? I don't know. Let me know down in the comments, do you agree with my list? Are there people on the list that you like, that you don't like? Who would you put on the new season, season 25 of Big Brother? If it is second chance, who would you give a second chance to? And mind you, I do not want to see anybody that's actually been on the show more than once. Pick somebody that hasn't been on the show just one time. Pick somebody else. Give them a shot. You know, a lot of these shows like to recycle contestants. And I like to basically see people that we haven't seen before or haven't seen only just one time and give them another shot. Because just keep giving the same people another shot is kind of irritating. So, yeah, let's see what that is going to be. And, you know, let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.